upstairs to Bob and FP for a couple of minutes. And from where Ray and I said, guys, we don't see the game the same way you guys do. And you see Turner every single game go out there and bust his tail from start to finish. He sets a new franchise rookie record today uh, and also a two for four day for Trey. Not bad. Yeah, Johnny, it's pretty remarkable what he's doing. We're talking about a six game hitting streak with an average of more than two hits per game. Now it's six days, but there's nothing fluky about what he is doing. And I know you're so impressed because he'll hit a homer, then the line drive picked off by LeMayu, then another base hit to right. Nothing carries over for him. He just has a new approach every time and hits the ball where it's pitched. Yeah, so many times in baseball, and I've seen it in my baseball career, where you take a fast guy and try to make him a baseball player. But yep. Trey Turner's a baseball player that just happens to be a fast guy. He's had some great coaching along the way, just watching the way he runs the bases, simple things, the way he gets back on a steal, the, the tendencies he's picking up with Davy Lopes from pitchers, stealing bases, standing up at the major league level. So he's a baseball player. He's played a great shortstop, great second base. He's played center field flawlessly. I mean, we don't have long enough time for me to talk about what Trey Turner's meant to this ball club so far, but there's some other guys that need to feed off of his energy right now, in my opinion, because this ball club seems like it's trying to get some energy from somewhere. It's been lackluster, I think, is a nice way to put it recently. And I always go by how I'm feeling up here. If I'm tired, I know those guys are standing on the field for five hours are tired too. But hopefully they re-energize this whole thing quickly because you don't want to let things kind of float too long. Yeah, when you go on the road, you better get things energized. Yeah, it's Philadelphia. And yeah, it's New York. And I think next weekend, the Mets will be approaching this series when they play the Nats like, hey, this is our shot. This is it for us. If we can do what we did earlier, September last year, we can get back at these guys. The Nats have a chance to bury them and maybe the Marlins in the next coming week or two, but there's still a long way to go in the season. We're talking over 30 games. There is, and you have to find the motivation somewhere. You have to find, I mean, I, I shouldn't say they're not motivated. They are. It's just, you get to this point of the year, Ray knows better than anybody, and it's just hard to put it into gear. It's hard to gear up for games, but you know, other teams are doing it, other players are doing it, and as a group, you have to find a way. All right, so uh, Murphy a hitless day. Ryan Zimmerman continues to scuffle a bit, but this is such a good ball club. We expect to bounce back in Philly, guys, and it'll start tomorrow. And hey, you ask who but WB Mason? Who but Tanner Roark would you want on the mound tomorrow night to start that road trip? So hopefully he gets that thing rolling again.